asexual reproduction. In asexual reproduction, the organism reproduces offspring on its own. There's only one parent and the offspring will inherit all of its gene from that single parent. The offspring and the parent are genetically identical. There is no genetic variation. The basic types of asexual reproduction. Binary fission occurs in prokaryotes like bacteria. Genetic information duplicates, the cell then splits in half with each new cell getting one copy of the genetic information. In mitosis, this occurs in single-celled eukaryotes like paramecium's. Again, genetic information duplicates, the cell then splits in half with each new cell getting one copy of the genetic information. In budding, that occurs in yeast and hydra. It's a small bump growing on the side of the parent. The bump grows larger and eventually detaches from the parent. In vegetative reproduction, it can occur in some plants. You can take cuttings from a plant and place it in nutrient-rich water. The cuttings grow roots and become a new plant. Some also create little runners that sprout new roots but remain connected to the parent plant. The advantages is that it's easy and fast. There's no mate needed. They're identically same as the parent, so if the parent's doing well, the baby's gonna do well also. And there's no fighting. There's no competition for fighting between siblings for resources like food. Disadvantage would be that there's lack of variety, so that could be a problem with the environment changes. Sickness spreads if the parent gets sick, so the offspring. They can't change very quickly. And with many offspring, you could also have an insufficient space for food. So to summarize, it's one parent, genetically identical, no genetic variation, allows for a quick increase in the population, it's more difficult to adapt to a change in environment, and a predator or disease could more easily destroy the entire population.